I was actually shocked and dismayed to see how the Prime Minister has virtually abused the, the Constitution and the laws of this country when it comes to, um, to spending the people's money. Um, you know, it reminds me that coming to 2008 when he was in opposition, he criticized our government heavily for spending money then coming to get approval in the National Assembly. And now here he comes doing that and even worse. Because one, he has spent over $1.3 billion uh, without the necessary approvals from the National Assembly. But secondly, he passes a, sp a special law, the petro Caribe um, law, that where he is trying to legalize an illegal act when he was spending the, the monies from petro Caribe. So that by itself is, is something else. But even more important in that act, he said that every three months he was going to come to the National Assembly to give a report as to the spending of the petro Caribe's monies. And that never happened. We cannot continue to allow the Prime Minister to continue to blatantly break the law and disregard the Constitution. And for us, it is very important to set a precedent now for this government and for future governments to ensure that this does not happen again. We have every confidence that the next government is going to be a government led by the, P by the PUP. And we want to make sure that that does not happen in our government. Can it be argued that this motion, however, is belated? Why would you say belated? I mean... Considering the fact that the petro Caribe monies have already been spent. But it is not only petro Caribe's monies. The point is that they are spending monies, the people's money, monies that we have borrowed, monies that have been um, spent on projects that we, we, there is no accountability, bad workmanship, bloated contracts. Um, this is what is this people's money is not Petro Caribe. Yes, some of the money was borrowed through Petro Caribe, but it is our money.